And here we have the metal cave. You can see up to my right here, that's the canyon. Down to my left is towards blue. So that's blue, canyon, and beyond canyon is green. And then that way is the ocean. So the cave is actually hidden behind these rocks. So let's have a wee look inside here. This is called the metal cave. See, I just broke that rock away and that's me in. So there you have it. Coordinates are 35.2, 24.5. This is the metal cave. Nice bits of metal all around it and some obsidian. So here we have the castle behind us. Uh, the cave is down there. That's the coordinates here. Now this is called Carnivorous Caverns. I am not going in here to fly around this, this cave is absolutely humongous. I'm just showing you where the caves actually are. This is a big cave. There's At the minute there's nothing really worthwhile going in here for. Um, the, oh, there, there is, I can't think of one single reason why anybody wants to go in there. Um, to build a base, yes, okay, fine. Uh, you have to... Oops, you have to remember, you take 6% damage of being in caves. 6% more. Or 6 times more, sorry, not 6%, 6 times more damage. So 1c4 can actually take down your whole behemoth gate, not a problem. But that is the entrance to that cave. It is huge, and it's so easy to get lost in, it's not even funny. That's why I refuse to go into it. But at least I showed you where the entrance is. Go forth and explore. So that's carniv carnivorous ca caverns. Um, I will say this: at the very back end of the carnivorous cavern, you can find a another cave, water cave, that actually has lots and lots of pearls. But I'll show you an easier way of getting into that cave later on in the, in this video or another video. I'm not too sure what way I'm going to do it. Um, but okay, that's carnivorous cavern, and that's your uh, coordinates there. And I showed you exactly where it is. There's a castle right at the back, straight down and in. So here we have Kamaka Cave. K A M A K A. This is Kamaka Cave. Uh, there's the castle up there, way up there. This is Fakings Bay. And then just down here is the cave. I'll show you the coordinates. Uh, the coordinates are 28 point. 22.8, 31.6, and that's the end of the cave there. I'm just going through where the wee skull and bones things are here. And that's the cave there. Nothing much to it, just a wee base location maybe. There's no, uh, nothing really worth, there's nothing actually to take. No uh, resources. So that's Kamika Cave, and the coordinates are, oops, wrong button, 22.5, 29.9, that is actually inside the cave. So here we have the Forbidden Grotto. So you see that's the big land bridges, that's blue, and it's just right below me here. The coordinates are 26.2, 27.1. Now, if you keep your back to blue, so we're going to keep our back to blue, basically. And we're going to keep flat, and then see, there's the entrance here. 26.1, this is the entrance. That would probably be an easy team for a tapa jar. <laughs> but this is the hidden grotto. Nothing much in it at all. Another base location maybe. There's another wee exit slash entrance there. There's nothing else really to show there, so we'll bounce out this side. Twenty-six point nine, twenty-seven point five. Just fly up a wee bit. I know you can't really see it from up here, but it gives you kind of an idea of where it is. Just beside that wee lake, and then just up a little bit. So 
careful of them birds. There's it there. Not much to it. So here we are using blue, we're heading south east. So keeping blue behind us, heading south east towards Vikings Bay kind of direction. Just below us here is the other cave. It's this is called Kuru Cave. K U R I. However you say that. The coordinates are 27 23.7 and 27 point two ish. We'll just fly down and this is the cave here. Another one of those caves with nothing much in it. The only thing it'd be good for is probably building a base. Another entrance over there. 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 And yeah, not much else. Got a water dog below yet. Nice for a PvE kind of a base. PvP, not so much. That's the other way, that's a fly through, so it's 24.5, 28.7, that is Kuru, or Kuru, E, I, Cave. <laughs> this one is Skillet Canyon Cave, now this one's a little bit trickier to find, but when you know where it is, it will be easy enough. Uh, so we're just keeping Pirates Bay directly behind us, you see this little high peak, you see the skeleton bones that's going across the canyon. Just directly below that, basically. The coordinates there are 20.3, 29.4. Flying down, flying straight down where we bridges, and there it is. Now, this has some uh, crystal, metal, it has no obsidian, but it does have crystal and metal. A little bit. It'd be a nice wee place for a base. It's not that big, and then this is where your crystal would be in here. And that's basically that's it. So that is Skillet Canyon Cave. This one is called Parrot Cave. See the Broken Bridge and between Broken Bridge and Blue. Coordinates 19.9, 23.6 and then we're coming down into the trees. So there's a Broken Bridge down into the trees. There we have the entrance. Nice big cave this. Another wee entrance up there at the top where the actual bridge is. Along the water here. So that is Parrot Cave. 19.8, 23.6 for this little entrance way here. This cave is called Beaver Fall Cave. Coordinates 27.9, 48.7. Just let you have a wee look around. So that's the volcano slash black sands up there. Right out behind me, mm, that's towards green. So basically to get into the cave, there's a couple of entrances. This one here, uh, you see the three things in the waterfall? Head for that top one. So basically we're just heading straight for this. And there we go, we're straight in. We put a crystal and a wee bit of metal in this cave. Not much at all. This is the other entrance slice exit. That's, I don't know, I'll let you come out here. Uh, you're talking 20, 27.9, 47.5. It's just right beside the other one, basically. So the other one's in the middle. That one is to the left of the middle one. 
So that is Beaver Fall Cave. So here we have Beaver Cave. Look for that little archway there. Uh, there's a canyon over there. So basically you're coming into the, the, the middle of this valley and find this river slash pond to me uh, with a couple of waterfalls. So it's the top waterfall. Sorry, the coordinates to be here is 32.6, 43.5. So that brings us to the middle and then just fly straight in. Unfortunately, on this cave, we cannot take our flyer in with us, but it's not that big of a cave anyway, so it's not too bad. Just jump off there. Make sure he waits there for me. And then there's just a wee small entrance here. Not a really great cave or anything, but it'd be great for hiding and stuff uh, on a PvP server, ammunition, stuff like that. Maybe. I don't particularly like caves just because of that six uh, times more damage. Don't like, especially on a PvP. So that is the Beaver Cave. 32.4, 44.0. Just that very top waterfall. See that cannons up to the right? Sorry, the Lambridge. So that's Beaver Cave.